Okay, so in this problem, we are multiplying two decimals by one another. And when we're multiplying decimals, it doesn't matter where our decimal is. We want to line up all of our numbers accordingly. And so when we're also multiplying, we have to pay attention that we're multiplying a negative by a negative, which will give us a positive. So we're going to get back to that with our final answer. But right now, we're going to pretend like we don't have negatives. So now we have, we're going to start by multiplying this 2 by all the numbers above. So we have 2 times 4, which is 8. 2 times 3, which is 6. 2 times 1, which is 1. Now we're going to move one column over and we're going to place a placeholder. And so we're now we're going to start multiplying this 1 by all the numbers above. So we have 1 times 4, which is 4. 1 times 3, which is 3. And 1 times 1, which is 1. Now we're going to move on to our next column, our final one. We're going to place two placeholders before we start multiplying. So now we have 6 times 4, which is 24. We're going to carry over the 2 and write down the 4. Now we have 6 times 3, which is 18, plus 2, which gives us 20. And now we have 6 times 1, which is 6, plus 2, which gives us 8. So now we're going to add up all of our numbers here. We have 8 plus 0 plus 0, which is 8. 6 plus 4, which is 10. We're going to carry over the 1 and write down the 0. And now we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which gives us another 10. And 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 8. Er, 8 plus 0 plus 0. Those are placeholders. And so now we're going to count up the places that we have after the decimal in both of the numbers that we multiplied. So we have 1, 2, three numbers after the decimal. So that means that we're going to move our decimal place one, two, three times over. And we're gonna make sure that our final answer is a positive number, not a negative, because we've multiplied by two negative numbers. So our final answer is going to be 82.008.